So let's begin the construction of the 4 cup anemometer. For this I'm going to be cutting this ping pong ball. Uh, it's not exactly a ping pong ball, it's a plastic uh, ball, slightly smaller than a ping pong ball, but I'm going to cut it. Be very careful here when you're punching the hole and then you start cutting it. So I do need to caution you while cutting this. We finally have four cups, but it is painful. It is very, you have to be extremely careful. The knife you use is very critical and it can hurt. Anyway, going back to this construction, uh, these are the lessons you learn, is what tools to use, when to use them, uh, safety. Safety is one of the most important uh, uh, things you learn while doing these hands-on activities. And I'll tell you this, once you start thinking and processing information uh, with safety in consideration, what is going to happen is you're going to bring that thought process in everything you do, in how you take risks, uh, what kind of risks you should take, what are the precautions you should take. And this is not just hands-on activities. I'm talking about finance. I'm talking about studies. I'm talking about sports. So all this helps. So anyway, we have these four cups from plastic, four more cups from uh, the ping pong ball. And I'm going to use these. So I went ahead and uh, marked the centers on top of these domes, cups. What I'm going to do is um, just uh, tape them on the center. So I'll just keep them here like this a big large piece right here as much to the end as possible and then we'll just take it down to this center the cups should be opposite to each other so if this is facing here this cup will face here so keep it here So you'll have something like this. I'm going to tighten it up. Do that. I'm going to do the same thing to this, the other cup. So first tape this one. There you go. We joined perpendicular to one another like this. And I'm going to put some glue here. That will be our next step to keep this in place. So the first step is I'm going to put some glue on top of this point right at the center. And then I'm going to place this guy in the desired position and which should be perpendicular and at the midpoint they should intersect exactly at midpoint. There you go. I'm going to 
all of them together like that see that now in addition I'm also going to glue the ends here be careful here keep that in place and turn it around a little bit to the last pling I put this don't need this big of a push pin I just put that in for decoration you could use any color any and I'm going to just there you go this would be our now to go go for the test guys what I did was uh, instead of a pencil I just took a double uh, you could actually stick it into the pencil too no you don't need the eraser because this is a bigger pen but if you have a smaller push pen then you would use the eraser so I need to give you an update uh, you remember I used a push pen to keep this in place and I thought I will uh, well for this particular type of a straw so what we did was hey use the toothpick loosen it up a little bit now idea is to rotate uh, count the number of rotations per minute that would give us that and knowing the uh, diameter that is the length of the straw and the number of rotations will give us the speed on to the second construction that's the uh, ping pong ball uh, but this time not as a uh, four cup anemometer but more like a pendulum so the first step in this construction is to fold this now if you don't already have this obviously you would not unless you are with life labs and we have given you a template uh, but then in that case what you do is you take a, a protractor uh, make an outline draw the center and mark all these um, uh, degrees and then you can get uh, uh, the idea is to fold it over like this so that will be our first step and I'm going to do it right now so the first step I'm going to take this mark the edges here there you go got these two and see that now all I have to do is fold this over I'm going to straighten this up a little. I'm going to cut this along with the back so that I'll have it. I'm going to make this into a cut. Now obviously you may not have this. You may, not, you may have this on a separate piece of paper. That's fine. Just make sure that you have a two-fold like this. So once we have folded it, I cut it out. I just basically cut this out so this is what you should see after cutting it out um, get a shape like this so let me make a hole the hole So I'm going to take this glue stick, kind of put it here, to apply to this stick. then 
There's this guy somewhere here, very close. Fold it over nicely. Looks like a fan, doesn't it? So, but so this this is how you are going to hold this. Next, uh, I'm going to take this fishing line, uh, uh, insert it right here, and at the back of it, I'm going to take it up like so and tape it right here so now I have this like this see that so the idea is to hang I'm going to measure from this point a foot from this point about 30 centimeters uh, length and that's where I'm going to glue the gun I mean at the ball so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark this 12 inches point I have it here and that would be my marker for where I'm not going to cut it off there I'm going to first um, attach the ball at that point at this uh, marker there you go and then cut off the rest of these and I'm going to punch a hole right here there you go did is I tied up a knot, punched, pushed it through the hole and now I have pretty much um, um, placed it in here. Now I'm going to glue this part here so that it will stay there permanently. So I have the glue ready and I'm just going to There you go. That is enough. You can see that the glue is set. And by pulling it out like that, it's going to keep it straight. And we need the ball suspended completely straight. This is the final assembly. Um, we had this template, we folded it got it glued to this uh, handle popsicle stick uh, took a ball a ping pong ball measured about 30 centimeters off of this um, and then glued the ball to it so it's all nicely suspended now all we have to do is see how much it deflects in the air right and then we can compare so so we have as you can see it is at zero and pointing down I'm going to start the fan the fan is at uh, the low speed. Pendulum is pointing to almost 6 to 7. Now I'm going to change it to next speed. Now this time it's going almost up to 10 degrees. Now this time it's going to 15. We are set this timer now as you can see the clock is running to one minute and uh, the fan is set to low speed so we will use the video to actually count the number of times 
the black cup passes over the over the uh, to the popsicle. Um, so now the fa fan is set to uh, the second speed, which is medium speed, and you can see that the anemometer is spinning much more faster. And we will again wait until one minute. So the idea is that we will watch the video in slow motion. I'm not going to ask you to do that, but I'm going to do that um, to count the number of times that the black cup that is marked with a black marker passes over the popsicle in one minute. This is for the medium speed. So let's go over the results, but before we do that, let me just give you some specifications of our construction. This is a standard ping pong ball, and it weighs 2.7 grams as per standards, uh, and then uh, 40 millimeter in diameter. This is uh, 30 centimeters, and uh, this distance, you know, in the formula for uh, uh, for the uh, calculating the wind speed with the four cup anemometer, you need to know the di diameter. This is the diameter because that's what this goes in. See this? So the diameter is from here, from end to end, um, between the cups, and that is 20 centimeters. What do we have here? The wind speed. Uh, you know, we tested it with a simple fan, and the fan had three speeds: low, medium, and high. And for each of those speeds, we tested the ping pong anemometer. It gave us a reading between 5 and 8, between 7 and 10, and between 10 and 15. We took the low reading there um, because that was more consistent. We don't, we really don't know whether this is right or you know the cup anemometer speeds are correct or the um, ping pong ball anemometer speeds are correct. But that's the challenge that we'd like to leave it this way. This is a learning lesson it's a prototype it's a model and it's for in any scientific activity in any engineering activity there's a multiple iterations of trial and error and testing that will give you get you to the right product the right uh, but in this case you will learn about mathematics you will learn to apply arithmetic you will learn to apply conversions for example in this case the wind speed for the cup anemometer is the rotations per minute times pi times the diameter divided by 60 that will give you centimeters per second uh, that's the wind speed but then you have to convert it to kilometers per hour now I'm not going to give the formula here but that's an easy thing you convert the centimeters to kilometers you convert the seconds to hours and you get kilometers per hour then once you get kilometer per hour you convert it to miles per hour Again, you see how all your mathematics, your physics, your science, uh, the conversion, your language skills, they're all coming together in, every of this act in all of these activities. And that's what Life Labs activities are about, where you get to apply your knowledge in different subjects, in different fields, and in, the, in one activity.